Hi kids, welcome back. Ready for another story? <laughs> yeah, me too. Today's story is Cinderella. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cindy. There we go. <laughs> so as I was saying, my name is Cindy, kind of like Cinderella, <laughs> which is what my not so nice stepmother and stepsisters call me. I had to go live with them in a dark, cold place called Europe, where they have castles and princes and stuff like that. But I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> They're always making me do all the chores. Like, it's normal for kids to help out with the dishes, feed the dog, clean her room, and stuff. But they made me do everything all day long. I'm cleaning toilets, tying their hair bows, ironing their socks. Well, seriously, who needs their socks ironed? My only solace was my cat Fryball. <laughs> and since my stepsisters were allergic, I had to keep them outside. <gasps> and it can get wicked cold in Europe. One day, an invitation arrived. The prince was having a grand ball and everyone was invited. I finally had something to be happy about. Fryball and I did a little dance. But my evil stepmother told me there was no way I could go. You have to clean the bathroom floor that night. Duh, it's Friday. She was right. Friday was tub and toilet night. Friday came and my lousy stepsisters put on their lousy new dresses and strutted out to the ball while I got out my scrub bucket and brush and got to cleaning. I'm gonna be honest, I cried. <laughs> but just a little. Don't be sad. Thanks, kids. Look, a fairy! <gasps> she said, Don't be scared. I'm your fairy godmother. I didn't know I had a fairy godmother. Oh, okay, so that explains why you never call or visit, send me an email, edible bouquet. Now stop your crying. Let's get you to the ball. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm kind of cleaning the bathroom. It's tub and toilet night, and I don't have a dress. Oh, please, stand still. <laughs> wow, pretty. Now you'll find your limo outside. I did a little wand action on an old jack-o'-lantern for that one, and Fryball is your chauffeur. Uh, now off you go. Oh, wait, one thing. You gotta get home by midnight. That is so important. I can't stress the importance here. There's always a catch with these spells. And just like that, I was on my way to the ball. Woo! It was the most fun party ever. Snacks galore. They had a chocolate fountain, an eight foot meatball sub, awesome music, a conga line, a wee, Karaoke, foosball, it was magical. I met the coolest guy in the world. We played bowling on Wii. We ate nachos. And we realized we had the same taste in like everything. We like the same color. Red. red. The same food. Cheese doodles. doodles. The same movies. But, but the, the best, best one is Toy, Toy Story 3. Jinx. You owe me a coat. <laughs> Even the same taste in shoes. <gasps> Sneakers to a ball? It's midnight, y'all. Eek! I didn't have time for goodbyes. I made a run for it. Bye! I forgot to ask her name. Oh, I always get something wrong. By the time I got back to my limo, it had turned back into a jack-o'-lantern and Fryball back into a regular cat. I was back into my regular clothes and somehow I had ran right out of one of my sneakers. With one shoe and Fryball by my side, I walked home. The next day, there was a breaking news announcement from the prince that he had met a great girl at the ball who would make a great princess, but he didn't know who she was. I must find her. All I have is this. 
this shoe. And I will canvas the land and find the foot that fits this sneaker. I really think she might be the coolest girl in the whole world. Say what? I was hanging out with the prince? Whoa, this was an interesting turn. My stepsisters argued over which one of them it was. It was great. Little did they know, it was me. But when the prince and his prince people came round to do the test fitting, my stepmom sent me out back to wash the windows. I watched as my stepsisters both tried to squeeze their big feet into my shoe. Then he saw me. Hey, what about her? Please, will you try on this shoe? you and that's when my stepmother and stepsisters screamed and passed out they didn't handle shock very well <laughs> I'm um I'm Ron Charming hi I'm Cindy you, you owe me a coke, coke. Jinx you, you owe me another coke, coke. Jinx. Jinx now you owe me another, another coke, coke. Jeez. That went on for quite a while. And then we lived pretty darn happily ever after from that day on. It was a real Cinderella story. So how does this work? Do I get like three wishes or something? With the wave of my magic wand. I love it. Hi there kids. Welcome to story time at Cool School with me, Miss Booksy. Today, we're reading Cinderella's New Family. Wiggle, snap, story time! Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella. Ahem, that's not my real name. That's just what my mean stepsisters and stepmother call me. Story time, story time. Miss Booksy's gonna meet you inside. Her magic books, Cinderella's dress in blue. My real name is Ella. Actually, let's begin my story there. I was an only child, but I had a ton of pets. My dad was the greatest dad of all time, and our town was super neat too. One day, my dad told me that he was getting married. <gasps> okay, that's not the terrible part. Somehow, he found the meanest lady ever in the history of meanness. But it wasn't his fault, I guess, because at first she pretended to be so nice. Hello there, Ella. Do you like candy? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> hey! Too late. You snooze, you lose. Those were my two new stepsisters, Gritzel and Unga. They never even bothered pretending to be nice. My stepsisters had a real sukasa is mi casa kind of attitude. In other words, they took all my stuff. I want it. Mine! Gimme! Then they said they were scared of all my animals, so scared that my dad had to banish them all to the barn outside. But what about Goldie? Come on, all she does is sit there and go. Take her away! They all have to go! I'm sorry, guys. I'll visit you. Whenever my dad was away, the step monsters would treat me like a servant. I did the sweeping, I did the windows. <laughs> I cleaned non-stop, day in and day out. <gasps> and I was a mess, always covered in dust and grime, which led to me getting a new nickname. Ew, Ella, you're all covered in cinders from the chimney. Maybe we should call you Cinder Ella. Cinder Ella. Then my dad left for this big fishing trip expedition thingy. That's when my stepmother decided I should move into the barn. It was cold and dark and a little scary, but I had my animals and that was nice. Aw, plus some field mice. Hi guys. <laughs> but I missed my old life, especially my dad. It seems like he had been gone for his fishing trip like forever. Then I heard the awful news. Extra, extra awful news. Local dad captured by pirates. Yep, my 
dad had been captured by a gang of pirates. And to make matters worse, my stepmother and stepsisters didn't even seem to care. He'll be fine. Who cares? I can't worry. It gives me wrinkles. <laughs> they were the worst. Good thing I still have you guys. <laughs> that night, I had a beautiful dream. My dad was home safe and sound. My stepmother and Gritzel and Unga were nowhere in sight. Amazing! I was all dressed up. And I had the prettiest slippers. It was almost as if they were made of glass. <laughs> What's all that racket? We must get to work immediately! This is so exciting! What's going on? The queen is having a ball and we're all invited. Whoa! I just had a dream that I was dressed up in a beautiful gown. <laughs> just like I was going to a royal ball. That's so funny. <laughs> I have to make a dress and my hair. What am I gonna do with my hair? My stepmother said I couldn't go to the ball. Well, I would just have to find a way, wouldn't I? <laughs> I began preparations in secret. My stepsisters went through dresses like they were going out of style. So I had lots of material to choose from to craft a perfect gown. <laughs> Voila! The most beautiful dress in the world. Oh, one day I was cleaning the attic when I found a box. <gasps> Shoes! These must have belonged to my mom. They were beautiful slippers that looked almost as if they were made of glass. Everything was coming together perfectly. <gasps> but it's not like the royal ball was the only thing I was thinking about. Curiously, I hadn't heard anything about my dad. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. Harvey Beeswax, private investigator, at your service. Hi, Mr. Beeswax. My dad was captured by a gang of pirates. I need your help. Pirates, eh? Yes, and my stepmother said that she can't find him, but she's done diddly squat. Diddly squat? That's not enough. I know. So, do you think you can find him? It'll be tough, but I'm the best private eye in the city. If anybody can find your pop, it'll be me. When I got home, I found this. It's mine. No, mine! Oops, I didn't like it anyway. Well, at least I still had the shoes. They didn't fit anyway. Welp, back to square one. Meanwhile, hmm, no sign of Cinderella's old man yet, but I'll solve this case. It's finally the day of the ball. Getting Gritzel and Unga ready was no small task. They required bubble baths, manicures, blowouts, Finally, my stepsisters were ready for the royal ball. You guys look really nice. Um, we know. Okay, well, have a great time. That's quite enough talk, Cinderella. Goodbye. I'll be honest, I was kind of sad. I retreated to the bar with some snacks. I know, it's pretty cliche, but I was sad, okay? And then, I don't know why, but I yelled out, Oh, if I only had a fairy godmother. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, sugar, but better late than never, right? Who are you? Your fairy godmother. I thought that part was pretty obvious. <laughs> oh, watch this. Awesome! I know, right? So, how does this work? Do I get, like, three wishes or something? With the wave of my magic wand. I love it! Uh, you won't be dancing with those tootsies. Uh, yeah, I'm due for a mani-pedi soon. Well, stick your hands out and close your eyes, my little ragamuffin love. Bippy boopy blabity boo These are the bomb! Oh, they fit perfect! <laughs> okay, I better get on my way. Oh, wait. Pretty sure the castle is like 48 miles away. That would take approximately 864 minutes if I walk, if I hustle. Cinderella, and... get it together. I'm gonna hook you up. Now go get me a pumpkin, spaghetti squash, any gourd or root vegetable ought to do. How about this? My Halloween bucket. Well, let me just get it. That'll do, I suppose. Cinderella put the bucket down, and with one more swirl of the magic wand, the bucket became a gorgeous, sparkling carriage. A carriage is kind of like a stroller, but for adults. <laughs> I am gonna look so cool riding up in this thing. <laughs> oh, well, you better get a move on. Hey, uh, who's driving this thing? My stepmother wouldn't let me go for my driver's license test. I almost forgot. You, over there. And y'all, over here. 
Well, we're off. <laughs> Thanks so much for everything, Fairy. <laughs> you're the bestest in all the land. Well, you're certainly welcome. This is going to be the best night of my life. Oh, no. I forgot to tell her about the midnight thing. Yoo-hoo. Cinderella! The fairy godmother caught up to the carriage and shouted after Cinderella. But clearly, Cinderella was having so much fun, she didn't even notice. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. Ah! Oh! You! Uh, you scared me half to death. Cinderella, you can't go yet. Fairy, you gotta cut the cord and let me go. I'm a grown woman. No, I mean the spell. <laughs> Say what now? At midnight, you have to be long gone from the royal ball by then. Uh, I have no intention of leaving when the party is still hopping. No, you absolutely must. No. You have to. No. You have to. If you don't, then all this magic will wear off. There's always a catch. <laughs> but don't worry about it. Go, enjoy yourself, just keep track of the time. No prob. I'll set an alarm on my phone. So Cinderella continued on her journey to the castle, super excited and super nervous to meet the prince. You guys, this is going to be the best night ever. At the ball, Cinderella is having the time of her life. Woohoo! When suddenly she noticed two very familiar but not so friendly faces, her stepsisters. But the stepsisters didn't even notice her because they were too busy trying to vie for the prince's attention. Oh, by the way, there's the prince. Ooh, Unga, that prince is gonna love my dress. He's totes gonna dance the night away with me. No way, Grits. I'm sure he'll notice my breathtaking eyes and ask me to marry him. Oh, Princey, you look hungry. Let me fetch you a treat. No, I will. Ugh. The whole evening, the prince had been noticing the mystery girl and how happy she looked and how she was being nice to everyone and ate tons of cake without a care in the world. Whoa, she is a seriously cool chica. <laughs> of a klutz. Oh, no, no, it was my mistake. Here, let me help you out. Oh, so, uh, this is some party. Do you want to dance? dance? Yeah. Oh, 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 wait, yeah. Yes. Oh, oh. oh, oh my oh, gosh. gosh. <laughs> I like your crown. Thanks. I like your dress. Yeah, blue is my favorite color. No way, mine too. So next week, uh, we're having this mini golf tournament here at the palace. Do you think you want to come? That sounds awesome! So it's a date! But Cinderella didn't hear the prince because the music had gotten louder and she was feeling the beat. So loud, in fact, that she didn't hear her alarm on her phone ringing. What's that noise? Huh? What's that noise? Oh, it's just my phone! <laughs> oh no, my phone! I gotta go! Wait up! I didn't get your name! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh, oh no! Wait up! Oh no! <laughs> well, it was nice knowing you, beautiful glass slipper, but I gotta go! Wait! You left your shoe! Keep it! Huh? <sighs> At least the carriage is still. Great. <laughs> And so, with one shoe, Cinderella walked all the way home. She wasn't too sad, though. I mean, guys, <laughs> the prince danced with me a ton, and I made so many friends, and I did a conga line, and the limbo, and the robot, <gasps> and I must have had like five pieces of cake. <laughs> it was the best night of my whole life. That happiness lasted all through the next morning, even though her stepsisters were being particularly annoying. The prince is going to ask me on a date. No way! We'll see who he putts with at the Royal Mini Golf Tournament. The Royal Mini Golf Tournament? I almost forgot. I hope that girl from last night doesn't go. She was the worst. <laughs> what girl? This girl's Sandy or something. She hugged the prince for like a whole hour. Gee, <laughs> yeah, I hope she doesn't show up. The big day of the Royal Mini Golf Tournament had finally arrived and Cinderella was there. Awesome, right? Not so awesome. My fairy godmother didn't show up. Meanwhile, my stepsisters are playing miniature golf with the prince. Can my life get any worse? Heads up! Ow! Oh, I guess it can. Oops. Heads up! Hey, do I know you? Eek! The prince! What do I do? Play it cool, Cinderella. Play it cool. Uh, no, not me, mate. You must have me confused with someone else. Uh, 
Right? Yeah. What? Okay, gotta go. That couldn't have been. Or could it? Great. Just great. I blew it. Oh, princes like princesses, right? I cannot let him know that this is the real me. Hey, Cinderella. Oh, what? Uh, who's that? Cinda who? <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Beeswax. You got news about my dad? We're getting real close to cracking the case, kid. I got one of my best guys following a pirate ship as we speak. That's great. Oh, what are you doing here? Official palace business. I can't discuss it. But between you and me, the prince has got a crush. Oh, yeah? I mean, sure. Whatever, that's cool. <laughs> Who is it? That's classified, kid. But get this, he doesn't know her name. Go on. Says she showed up at the ball and then she just ran off. Go figure. He thought she'd be here today. But when she didn't show, he called me. So, like, what did he say about this girl? <laughs> I can't really discuss it because I'm a private eye, the keyword being private. But he says she's super cool. Well, gotta get back to work. <laughs> She could be anywhere. She could be right under my nose. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> well, the good news is the prince obviously totally likes me. Woohoo! <laughs> the bad news is I have absolutely no idea what to do. Several days passed and Cinderella had not heard any news about the prince and his mystery girl. Cinderella, I need a pedicure. Right now? Yes, now. Me too! Haven't you heard? The prince is going around to every house in the queendom to find his dream girl. Say what now? He has this shoe, and supposedly he's going to marry whoever fits into it. So like, our feet need to look good. The prince is coming here? Yeah. And one of us is going to become a princess. Yeah, me. No way, me. Fairy godmother, if there was ever a time when you need to help a sister out, it's now. The prince is here! <laughs> Let me try on that shoe. Me first. No, me. Hi, Princey. Remember me? Sure, yeah. Hi, Pretzel. It's Ritzel. Uh, looks like it doesn't fit. Sure it does. Perfect. I've never worn such a comfortably fitted shoe. <laughs> and there are no other ladies in the house? No. Nada. No siree, Bob. Wait a second. Doesn't Cinderella live here? She lives in a barn. She's totally yuck. Nah, she's a lovely girl. I'll get it for you, Prince. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Mr. Beeswax. The Prince wants you to try on a shoe. He's still after that mystery girl. Okay. Now I really, really, really wish I had my fairy godmother. Hey, you look awfully familiar. Yeah? <laughs> I'm, um, uh, supposed to try on a shoe? Try not to stick it up. Well, what do you know? It fits! It's you! O-M-G! No way! Sorry I'm late, Cinderella, but your fairy godmother is at your service. <gasps> I'm so, so, so sorry, honey. I've been at a fairy magic conference and these trolls crashed the party and it was just a huge old mess. Anyway, what's up? Oh, that's the prince over there. <gasps> oh, he's cute. Uh, yeah, yeah, look at me. Now he knows I'm not a princess. This is terrible. And now with a wave of my magic wand, I will transform raggedy ragamuffin Cinderella here into a beautiful beautiful princess finally <laughs> wait huh you don't have to change a thing cinderella i like you for you you don't need a fancy dress or shoes hold up uh that's really nice and everything but if my fairy godmother wants to hook me up with some new duds then i'm a letter <laughs> all right fair enough okay fairy godmother work your magic bloopity blabadoo so it was you the whole time, huh? Right under my nose. Oh, don't worry. You're still my favorite private investigator. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. With all the shoe trying on hubbub, I forgot to tell you. We found your dad. You did? Yeah, my guy called me this morning. He's on the ship of Pirate Krusty Beard. Well, what are we standing around here for? Let's go rescue Cinderella's dad from the pirates. <laughs> Arrgh! What are you doing on my ship? We're here to save my dad, you crusty old pirate. My girl. Dad. Who are you guys? Harvey Beeswax, private eye. I'm her fairy godmother. I'm the prince, and may I just say, I like your daughter, sir. Zippity, zamaboo, ta-ta, and bye-bye. Yay! 
When we got home, Beeswax put my evil stepmother in the slammer. Turns out she hired the pirates to take my dad. So evil, right? Anyway, it was pretty much everybody lived happily ever after fairy tale kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, and we decided to let my stepsisters stick around, but they were a lot nicer now that I was a close personal friend of the prince. <laughs> they even started doing their share of the chores. The end. Cinderella and the prince lived happily ever after. Story time, story time. Miss Booksy's gonna meet you inside. Her magic books, Cinderella's dress in blue. Goldilocks and spinning clock. Hey. Wiggle snap, wiggle snap. Everybody wiggle snap, wiggle snap, wiggle snap. Everybody wiggle snap. I was becoming really good friends with the Beast. What's your real name? Actually, uh, it's Harry. <sighs> You've broken your cup again, Harry. You have to be dainty with teacups, like this. Thanks, Belle. <clears throat> what would I do without you? Belle, will you ma- <laughs> Hey there, girls and boys, it's me, Miss Booksy. Today I wanted to go back to one of my all-time favorites, Beauty and the Beast. Do you remember, cause I don't remember too clearly, was it a kiss from Belle or a tear that turned Harry the Beast into Harry the Prince? Let's find out again, okay? Here we go. Yes, I get to be Belle. So anyway, Belle. <laughs> I mean, I lived with my dad and two sisters. My dad sold cosmetics door to door. You know, makeup and lipstick, that sort of thing. One day, I was packing up a huge order. 25 bottles of shampoo, 100 bars of soap, 10 things of curl goop. Ugh, it was a lot. Who could have ordered all this stuff? A giant poodle? My dad had gotten a wicked bad flu, and I had to make the delivery. And I didn't even know his route, so I had to use a GPS to get there. Turn right at the very scary looking gate. Continue past creepy gargoyle statues. You have arrived at your destination, the beast's house. Huh? Hello? Who's there? <sighs> okay, Th that sounded like a monster or something. Time to go! <gasps> what do you want here? Oh, there, Chewbacca. Easy, easy. I I'm just delivering the hair care products that you ordered. Oh, fantastic! Uh, <clears throat> do you have the curl enhancer and the cocoa butter soap? I, I totally prefer cocoa butter. Great for sun damaged fur. Oh, hey, buddy, you're doing that wrong! Here, let me help. Oh, that's much better! Uh, hey, actually, I, I'm looking for an assistant. Uh, you aren't looking for a job, are you? Well, my family did need the money, so I took the job. It actually wasn't so bad. The Beast gave me a sweet room, like a room for a princess. I had a closet full of amazing dresses. Oh, and there was a state-of-the-art home theater. <laughs> oh, and a full-time pizza chef. That's right, kids, pizza 24-7. Ah, non-stop pizza. It was a pretty cool job. I did miss my dad a lot, but we Skyped like all the time. Hi, Dad, it's so good to see you. Yeah, I'm doing great. I love my room. Get out of here. <laughs> I was becoming really good friends with the Beast. What's your real name? Actually, uh, it's Harry. <sighs> You've broken your cup again, Harry. You have to be dainty with teacups, like this. Thanks, Belle. <clears throat> what would I do without you? Belle, will you ma- <gasps> So of course, that's when my sisters call. Dad is really sick, they tell me, and I need to leave right away. What was Harry gonna ask me? Boy, talk about a cliffhanger. The Beast was just about to ask me something pretty important, but I had to hurry home to take care of my dad. 
I made him chicken soup, I read to him, and told him jokes. And he was feeling better in no time. I told my sisters all about Harry, and they were super rude. They called him all sorts of mean names, like Furball, Ugly Harry Guy, Jabba the Mutt, You probably have lice. Deep down, I knew they were just jealous. I was having a really good time with Harry. He was nice to me. We had so much fun together. And did I mention the nonstop pizza party? Hello. <laughs> they said I was being selfish and that I should just stay home. I said, okay, fine, I'd stay, but just for a little longer. I wrote a message to Harry and asked my sisters to please give it to the postman. I wrote, dear Harry, Please forgive me, but I must stay for one more week. See you soon. Yours truly, Belle. Meanwhile... Dear Harry, get it? Cause you're so hairy. Please forgive me, but I must stay forever. See you soon. Just kidding. See you never. Not yours. Bell. P.S. You are Harry. Aww. When the beast, I mean Harry, cried, I felt his sadness from miles away. I didn't know exactly what, but I knew something was terribly wrong. Hey, I don't know what you did, but... I know you did something terrible and I'm gonna fix it. You, 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 you mean bad sisters. Oh, I'm not really good at coming up with insults, but that's because I'm nice. I found Harry nearly smothered in a mountain of dirty Kleenex, whimpering like a hurt puppy. Oh, I went to hug him and tell him that I was back and that everything was gonna be okay. But the sight of him so sad made me so sad. And one little tear fell. And you're gonna wanna go slow motion in this cause what happened next is amazing. My tear falls on Harry's face and he turns into a prince. Yep, a prince. And not a hairy prince, a really cute and handsome prince. <laughs> Seriously handsome. And that's when he told me about the curse. He had been a vain man and interested only in money and his looks. Then a witch cast a spell on him to teach him a lesson. She turned him into a beast. The spell could only be reversed when he fell in love. The catch was, she had to love me back. And she totally does. And I do. And that kid is true love. Total bonus that he turned into a prince. Oh, double bonus, cause we got an ice cream bar for a wedding present. <laughs> yep, we had a fairy tale ending. Just eating pizza and having some ice cream. Chillin'. Me and not so Harry the prince. <laughs> See, I knew it was a tear. Is that what you guessed too? <laughs> Let's get dressed for an adventure. Let's spin the wheel. Oh no, I'm not dressed in the right clothes. Let's spin the wheel again. A dress. This is the wrong color. Let's try something else. I think so. Let's spin the wheel again. I love this color. So pretty. I feel like a princess. What do we need next? Will you help me? Here we go. This is from a different story. Let's spin the wheel again. This is perfect. What's the last thing we need? Let's spin the wheel. 
This doesn't look right. Let's try something else. The outfit is complete. So cute. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much. Welcome to Sweets Cafe. He always has the best stories and he's an amazing chef. I can't wait to hear what he's gonna tell us about today. The tale of Cinderella and the royal meatballs. The tasting will now begin. Nice texture, excellent aroma. Oh no, midnight, I'm out of time. I've gotta go, I'm so sorry. I loved meeting you. Wait! Whoa! You okay? Hurry, Sweets! Step on it! Hi, Sweets! Hi, Rosie! What have you got there? It's just the best cake pops Whoa. you've ever tasted in your entire life! Wow, they look sweet-licious! Can I taste one? Sure! Mmm, mm, you have to give me the recipe! Absolutely! What are you making? I'm cooking my famous meatballs. Another one down, only 499 left to go. That's a lot of meatballs. These aren't just your usual meatballs. These are spectacular sweet sauce royal meatballs. Royal meatballs? Yep, royal meatballs. Actually, it was Cinderella's recipe. Cinderella, Cinderella. Yup. Did you know it's because of these meatballs that she and the prince got married in the end? No, 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 no. <laughs> she and the prince got married thanks to the glass slippers that she wore at the ball. Glass slippers? When have you ever seen anyone wear glass slippers? I wore glass slippers once, and let me tell you, they were impossible to walk in. Never again. Okay, fine. This is gonna be good. Tell me the real story of Cinderella. Here we go. The tale of Cinderella and the royal meatballs. Pound the table, clap your hands. Off we go to magic lands. Stir the batter, lick the spoon. Hold on tight, we'll be there soon. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella who loved to cook. She kind of looks like me. Hmm, now that you mention it, she does look a little bit like you. Cinderella lived with her dad. And every night, she made amazing meals for the two of them. Cinderella's dad was kind of sensitive. He would tear up at every little thing. Voila! Roasted casserole flambe stuffed with sweet potato fritters. You've outdone yourself again. <laughs> dad, are you crying again? It's just you're so beautiful and kind, and I really love casserole. Now more than anything, Cinderella wanted to go to cooking school so she could learn to be a chef. So she sent letters to apply to every cooking class, culinary school, and apprenticeship in the kingdom. Meanwhile, Cinderella's dad was a little lonely. I'm a little lonely. So one day, he remarried. Cinderella thought that would be good news. Now she would have a new stepmother and two stepsisters to share her delicious dishes with. But she was wrong. What's your favorite type of cuisine? What kind of spices do you like? Ooh, do you prefer stainless steel or cast iron pots? What on earth are you talking about? Yeah, just go get some frozen spaghetti from the store and go put it in the microwave for us. Or get some TV dinners. Those are my favorites. Uh-oh, this is not going to be good. It wasn't good. Turns out they were the worst eaters in the world. Here, guys, I made some chicken nuggets like you asked for. Gimme! Ew! Oh, I baked them instead of fried. Much healthier. Then I infused them with some truffle oil and sweet pepper sauce. Cinderella, start over and follow the directions on the box. They were so mean. And worse, they put ketchup on their carrots. Please be patient. Not everybody has as refined a palate as you do. At least people at culinary school will appreciate my food. One day, Cinderella's father had to go away on a business trip. I'm not going to cry because I'm going to miss you. Here, Dad. I made you a casserole for the trip. Now I'm going to cry. I love casserole. Don't worry, Cinderella. It'll just be a couple of weeks. 
You'll have fun with your new sisters. I love you. Let's go, children, inside to play. Cinderella, you do all the chores. All right. The next morning, some mail arrived. Howdy, miss. Lots of good news in the mail today. Looks like your daughter got accepted into all these fancy cooking schools. Congratulations. Let me know if she opens a restaurant someday. I'll be first in. Ouch. Line. Too bad, Cinderella. There's just too much work to be done at home for you to be going to some silly cooking school. I can't believe the evil stepmother would do something like that. It's so... Evil? That's the exact word I was looking for. Yup, but listen, something exciting is about to happen. Wait a minute, what's this? An invitation to the Royal Ball. Ah! OMG, OMG, girls, get out of here. The prince is having a competition to see who can make the tastiest meatballs in the entire kingdom. And the winner will get a private dinner with the prince, who just happens to be single. Oh, wow! I'm going to win! No way! I am! Oh, Mother, did I get any responses to my applications to cooking school? I'm supposed to find out whether I got in soon! Oh, didn't you hear? The mailman hurt his finger, so he went on vacation! That's too bad. When will he come back? I think in seven years! Maybe more! Now excuse me while I get ready for the ball! Weeks went by, and eventually it was the night of the royal ball! My meatballs are almost done! Let me go change into my dress and we'll head out soon. Oh, Cinderella, you can't come. The house is a mess. I need you to stay home and wash the dishes. But I can clean later. This house is filthy. You need to vacuum and dust and reorganize all the furniture so the feng shui aligns. But... No buts. Get back to work. The feng shui won't align itself. This stinks! Now my meatballs are all burnt, and there are so many dishes to clean, and they're all having fun without me. I wish I had a fairy godmother to help me. I need some good luck! Did somebody say food truck? I actually said good luck, but okay. Wait, I know you! You're Sweets from Sweets Cafe! And you must be Cinderella! How do you know my name? I got your application in the mail. You applied to be my assistant chef and learn to cook. Oh yeah, I never heard back. Our mailman is sick. He's out for seven years. Well, sweetlicious news, I chose you. What? I got accepted? I can't believe it. Thank you. Since you never wrote back, I came to see what was wrong. My stepmother told me I never got any mail. She must have thrown it away. Sounds like you've got an evil stepmother on your hands. Yeah, I really need a fairy godmother. Well, think of me as a fairy god chef. Yes! Look at all these dirty dishes. Oh, that? No problemo. <laughs> High-powered industrial strength dishwasher. So strong, it's basically magic. Yay! Now that everything is clean, I can go to the ball. But... All my meatballs got burnt. No problem. Let's cook a new batch together. First, you're gonna need this. Wow. Now let's make some spectacular sweet sauce royal meatballs. Perfect. You really are a fairy god chef. You're welcome. Now I'll drive you to the royal ball. You should probably wear this mask so your stepmother and stepsisters don't recognize you. Good thinking. There's one more important thing. You need to leave by midnight. Why? The magic will run out? He'll turn into a pumpkin? No, you just need to make sure you're home before your stepmother gets back. I don't want to be blamed if you get grounded. Good luck in there, Cinderella. Remember, leave by midnight. Midnight, got it. Thanks, sweets. I'm so excited. Those spectacular sweet sauce royal meatballs look so good. They sure do. Okay, time to start working on my sweet, licious garlic bread. What? You can't stop now. It was just getting to the good part. <laughs> the royal contest was about to start. Yeah, that is a pretty good part of the story. Okay, here we go. 
So Cinderella had just arrived at the prince's royal ball, where he was going to judge who made the finest meatballs in all the land. There he is, the prince. Hi there, hope you like it. I hope so too. The prince better like my meatball. I mean, I dropped it on the ground, but I cleaned it off pretty well before I put it back on his plate. Ta-da! Um, your meatballs are not balls. I want it to be creative. Our attention, everyone. The tasting will now begin. <laughs> hmm. Pretty adequate. Good texture, decent taste. Presentation could use improvement. Fine sauce. I give it a... A... Hmm. Hmm. I will give it a two, um, three, four. Definitely four. Four for a great effort. Is this a hair? Ew. This wins worst dish of the ball. Mom, I won an award. 8.1 out of 10. 3.14 out of 10. Nice try. Nice texture. Excellent aroma. Hmm. This is the best meatball I've eaten in my entire life. Who cooked this masterpiece? Me. That's it. We have a winner. Come on, everyone. Let's celebrate and have a ball. That was incredible. You're quite a chef. That's why I'm going to culinary school. One day, I'll open my own restaurant. Amazing. I'll be the first in line. In fact, I, I'd like to be your partner uh, in your restaurant. Really? That would be amazing. Oh no, midnight, I'm out of time. I've got to go. I'm so sorry. I loved meeting you. Wait. You okay? Hurry, sweet! Step on it! So tell me what happened. Did the prince like your meatballs? He loved them. I wish I could stay all night. She left her hat behind. I must find her. I really liked her amazing meatballs. And her. She doesn't end up with the prince? She's never going to become a famous chef? Hey, the story's not over yet. Don't worry. I wouldn't tell you a sad story, would I? I sure hope not. So let's find out what happened. I'm listening. What a night. Yeah, I can't believe I won an award. How could we have lost? Ouch! And who is that girl who won? I feel like I've seen her before. Ooh, the prince is making an announcement. And then after she left, I found her chef's hat which is why I will now travel the kingdom in search of this mystery chef. I know you're out there, and you deserve to be celebrated for your amazing culinary gifts and your amazing dance moves. And I still want to be your partner. Oh my, did you hear that? The prince doesn't know who the mystery girl was. So? So for all he knows, it could be one of you. When he comes to visit our house, you must convince him that it was one of you. What if it was me? You don't be ridiculous. Although, we do know that you're a so-called <coughs> good cook. Make some meatballs, Cinderella. And when the prince comes, my girls will pretend that they cooked them. Oh, okay. All right, girls, the prince is on his way. Now remember, when he tries to put on the chef's hat, make sure you squeeze your head into it. I don't think I can make my head skinnier. Make your head fit. Do you want to be a princess or not? Hey there. My fairy god chef's senses were tingling. You need help? Yes, the prince is on his way right now. And I have to cook meatballs for my sisters to give him. Are you going to make them bad on purpose? Put in some chili powder? No, I couldn't bear to make a bad meal on purpose. Besides, if the prince is going to eat them, I would never want him to get sick on account of me. Good for you, Cinderella. I'm proud of you. If I can't have the prince, I can at least make sure he has a delicious meal. Can you help me make those perfectly delicious meatballs again? At your service. <gasps> He's here. 
have Cinderella. Give me those meatballs and then don't come out of the kitchen. Okay. So nice to see you again, Prince. It is I, your mystery chef. Me too. I'm also your mystery chef. Wow, I thought there was just one. Here, give me that hat. Uh, 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 here we go. Let me try. My head's smaller. Here, my two daughters prepared these meatballs that you love so much. These were them, the perfect meatballs. So it was one of you two. <laughs> yup, we're avid chefs. Real foodies. Really? Uh-oh. Whoops, sorry, it was an accident. What was that? Nothing, there's no one else here. <laughs> My throat is a little hoarse. Are you sure? Sounded like somebody is in the other room. <coughs> okay. Well, if you two are such amazing chefs, I want to see your amazing kitchen. No, don't go in there. Stop. You look familiar. <gasps> it's you. It's me. You're the one who made the royal meatballs. You're the one who loved them. Um, I had a little help. Total team effort. She's an amazing chef, and she's going to my cooking school. Cinderella? You're the mystery girl. And you're working with a monkey? Hey, lady, did you throw out an acceptance letter to a cooking school that I sent Cinderella? And on an unrelated note, did you know that opening someone else's mail is a crime? Um, gotta go. Come on, girls. You won the competition. Do you know what that means? Um, you'll be my partner? Nothing would make me happier. Let's make our plans over dinner tonight. Cinderella? Dad? I missed you so much. <laughs> and so, Cinderella and the prince had a private dinner. And it was the first of many. Because after Cinderella finished cooking school, they opened a restaurant together and lived happily ever after. A happy ending. Happily ever after. Now, can I get another serving of meatballs, please? And make sure they're meatballs, not meat cubes. <laughs> One meatball dish coming your way. That was so much fun. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next story from Sweets. Bye.